At the Suderman Cup 2019, the first men's singles player of Malaysia was no longer Lee Chong Wei, but it was Lee Jijie who officially became the country's leader. In the quarterfinals against Japan, Lee Jijie met prime Kento Momoda, who was world number one and holding 11 winning streaks at that time. Given it's Lee Jijie's first time meeting Kento Momoda in two years since Siege Up in 2017, what would their matchup look like? Let's dive in. Since the match began, Gigi's has been pushing Shuttle to Momoda's backcourt until there is an attacking chance. Beautiful. And we were talking about the fact that one of the concerns just wait till this run is over. Benton so closely and so on. Was he going to be allowed to develop in his own time? Because he will be under pressure. Here he is leading Malaysia's campaign in the men's singles. Yeah, I Jesus smash was so powerful that even Prime Momoda could not return. Yeah. And it just shows that uh, Lee Si Cha still have time, even, you know, considering that he's he's up against someone like Lee Chong Wei. He's still got time on, on his hands. Yeah. And I think it's very, very important that uh, the Malaysian public and coaches and management and all that give him the chance and time. Exactly. Exactly. record is in Thomas Cup and Sutherland Cup. He's not the best of team players. And that's my interest. In Forehand cross stick oh, smash by GDM. Play it. It, and it's not something you choose, am I a good team? I'd like to see some more variation into the attack of uh, Momota. He, he tends to go. And I think that he has to be conscious of that they will start counter-attacking those kind of situations. Yes. Overdone it. That Lee Chong Wei and Lin Dan in their time. Had G Jaya showcased his skills at the net. Remaining at world number one. We're talking about Yeah. Superb China jump smash from Momoda. Nice angle. Finally, an overhead reverse slice error by Momoda. This time, Momoda won the net battle and lead the interval with one point advantage. Difficult for CTR to really make a good spin on it.
net cord from Gigia. Great retrieval and net kill from Momoda. Impressed urgency. I mean, we've already mentioned the fact that uh, Japan only beat Russia 3 2, coming from 1 2 down. Beat Thailand 4 1. But. Here. The cup this year. Yeah. Momoto widened the lead with Gigi's net error. Next few rallies as well. It seemed like Gigi lost focus and made many easy mistakes. One left. Adding on the pressure that way. Despite given five game point opportunities, he was not done yet. Ultimately, Momoda ended the hard-fought game one with a deception and smash. You know, prior to that, he'd been in Singapore. Yes. And uh, he took over the young uh, men's singles players as and when he arrived in Malaysia. Bring Dan's hold and flick deception used by Gigia. Gijaya did an unbelievable cross-court defense and won the rally. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Gijaya even made Momoda through his racket for the first time. favorite deception. I and they could even end up as uh, champions winning the Sudaman Cup on Sunday, who knows? Yes. But it is important because it sends messages, doesn't it? Because suddenly you team This is G Jaya's China Jump Smash. So it's a built a little bit like uh, Chen Long. Big taxes and
Kasicha has decided to go on the attack. Oh, wow. Momoda defended that smash with his eyes closed. closed. In fact, and he's really trying to dictate, set the pace. And if uh, Momoda is becoming too passive, then uh, Isitia has got the attack he takes. Uh, above ground. Yeah. He's getting it so late. Oh, well, that's good placement. Well played body smash from Momoda. Perfect placement. The early body twist reminded me of Victor Axelson. Oh, oh that net forehand shot. spinning net shot there. Oh, his opponent's good. Net. To win the tie, three love. Even the save looked like Victor Axelsen. Finally, Kento Momoda won 21-18, 21-16. What a game from both players. Thanks for watching. And this time.